Hey y'all, welcome out to the patio. My name is Erin. I am so excited to bring to you today a flip through. I'm sorry, I had to take a sip of my wine. A flip through of my B6 Stayology. So I have been in this B6 since uh, last couple of days of May going into June. And today I got in this beautiful natural brown leather. And I love it's picking up markings already. I haven't treated it. And I've been aggressive because y'all know I'm aggressive with my planner covers. And it is already picking up such beautiful character marks in it. Um, this one is made by a gentleman out of Canada Stride Ridge. And I hope I said that right. It is Stride Ridge. I don't have my glasses on. Surprise, surprise. And no crystal. They're not on top of my head this time. Um, but yeah, beautiful cover. He makes Hobonichi Weeks covers, A6 covers, A5 covers, B6 Slim covers. And they're actually less than $100. And it took just over a week from the time that I ordered it to the time that it arrived at my home. Um, you have your option of different leathers, different stitching colors. They appear to actually be stitched and not glued. Oh, look, I'm already getting water on it. Um, and it just wipes right off. I will probably treat this sometime over the next couple of days with just some mink oil, just to kind of help reduce any too much scarring on it but yeah it's really picking up character well and it smells amazing because you know we love the smell of leather so on the inside i just have tucked in um the planners and pj carnival um booklet that i just cut down to a b6 size and let's go ahead and flip through i haven't done a flip through of this my cousin i still use it as a reference but it's a little bit too much of a planner for some of the changes that have gone on in my life. So I've been using my weeks and then using my B6 as kind of my, it, it's a notebook. It's really not a bullet journal. It isn't really a planner. It is a free flow notebook that I'm planning with. So I tipped in some vellum that I foiled myself and then let me cover up those I forgot I had important phone numbers if the book is lost or if I'm in an accident who are we going to get a hold of and then on this side we have the kickboxing schedule a little bit more vellum I have the 2019 uh, yearly overview that I just kind of folded and then it has a goals list on it I've been getting a lot of headaches lately so I have my migraine tracker there um, and then the index and I use my index a little bit differently. I kind of write down what the items are on to where the tabs are going to meet and then I give myself enough room to continue down and if I need to I can start a second row here to coordinate with the other tabs. I have an inbox to catch my sticky notes until I find a home for them. Just an overview with some people I care about and love and then we get into my future planning and again I've done my vellum and then I have my June some vellum important dates are July August I haven't put vellum in for the rest of the months there and then we get into my bill pay section um, and again, I just dated at the top and I'm just making a running list of when bills are due and what's due in any notes. And I kind of am thinking this will probably last me through the end of December. So I just went out through December. I have a social media section to kind of just track my social media stuff. Um, I've started collecting more Tombow pens, so I wanted a quick reference. I find that when I go to the store, I'm always buying the same ones over and over. My ink wish list, which I haven't, I made the page and then I never transferred my inks over. My personal wish list, ideas for 2020 planners, 
And then we get into my actual planning pages with another sheet of vellum that I just foiled. Um, I started with kind of a weekly dump, things that are important, followed it up with Thursday and Friday, and then we go into June. So I just printed on vellum a June calendar, and then we get into the dailies. And if something really great happened, I may sprinkle in pictures here and there. You can see there's like really no rhyme or reason other than I have a June task list. And then I have another weekly page. My Monday, Tuesday. It flooded on Thursday. My grandbaby's birthday was on the fur on the ninth. Another weekly page, Monday, Tuesday, grandbaby broke her arm, poor baby. Um, some note pages. So it's really just kind of free form, adding things in as I need to. Another weekly overview, some more notes. Um, my Sims cheats because I've been playing a lot of Sims lately and I was tired of having to jump back and forth. So I have my cheats. Uh, what did we do? This is when we went to the water park. And again, it just has, it's just kind of a free flow catch all notebook. Funny story. I pocket dialed 911 from the roller coaster. Yeah, that was an interesting conversation. So I just had to screenshot that and print it out to put in there. And then weekly overview. This one I added um, my work schedule. And then more notes. We get into July. So the first week of July, the July task list, my work schedule for July. A love note that was left on my car window. I I don't know. Some guy I married left that note on there. And then we get into Wednesday. A grocery list is thrown in there. The fourth. This week I added some weather tracking. And then that brings us into today. So really easy. Added a slip pocket in the back. This was so easy to make. I just cut down a five by seven three ring binder pouch and then I double taped it and then just tipped it in. And then it just, I don't know, I added some washi on the end just to kind of cover up that double sticky sided tape. And then some day headers that I made with some foil. So yeah, that's my notebook. I really don't want to call it a bullet journal. I really don't want to call it a planner. It's strictly a notebook. You know, I may come in here and add a random list that I tip off. And then I have little stickies marking where I'm at for the day. I have this one that I did for my work schedule, my monthly. And then these are pages that I go to on a regular basis. And then that's the same thing with this extra little page flag that I made in the front. So yeah, that's my B6 Stayology. If you have any questions, um, leave a note um, down in the comment section. This is actually a Hobonichi Weeks sticker that I put here. Um, this is the first time I really kind of went in with any kind of stickers and some washi just thrown in lots of sticky notes as normal but yeah that's the B6 so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please let me know um, keep an eye out for other videos look it just wiped right off oh look and I took out some of the dents um, but loving the cover and I'll link his shop uh, down in the comments or down in the description box for you. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you'd like to see more videos on my personal planning system products that I have fallen in love with or happy mail hauls, uh, please hit the little subscribe button and the notification bell. 
Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please take the time to give it a thumbs up. You know what, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. By no means am I a professional YouTuber, um, but the thumbs down even bumps the video, so hey, go for it. Until next time, remember we all got a plan, we just all do it a little bit differently.